This is a safety video on the connectors on some of the 250 watt PV modules. These are the uh, Trinas that were part of the backseat recall some years ago. And you can get them for like 50 bucks a piece nowadays. And some of these, specifically the modules with this molded style of junction box that have connectors that do not have any kind of a manufacturer mark on them. Uh, they, at least in the like two pallets of modules that I have of these, were improperly assembled at the factory and they come loose. And so as part of my inspection 10 minutes ago when I was back here, I saw this. Yeah, it is. Focus, you humper. It has um, warped, as you can see. So that's what the... Um, mystical bag of magicalness is for because I'm going to be cutting this defective connector out and replacing it because I don't want another one of these um, burning off because that already happened uh, sometime last year. Fortunately, this is a ground mounted PV array so I'm able to get the back of it and it's not super likely to torch anything that I don't want torched but um, yeah, it's a problem and so if you have any of these um, for Pete's sake, don't put them on your roof. Have them on a ground mount array. And also check to make sure that the connectors are properly seated. If they aren't, you'll be able to tell because it'll just freely spin. And then so what you do is you dismantle the connector, reseat the crimp inside the actual connector housing, and then it'll go together normally and then you shouldn't have a problem. Also, this is why, as another building tip, it is very useful to have string level isolation so that's why I have fuses for each string of modules down here even though I've got a uh, even though technically it doesn't need it because these there's only two strings on this particular home run it means that if there's something wrong with one string I can just isolate that one string turn the PVRA back on and then you know I still have a producing string Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering where to get these boxes, in case you're not familiar with any of the previous videos I've done on this, these are, I think they're IMO brand uh, enclosures, available from industrialcontroldirect.com, as are the switches, then the fuse holders I got from Alt Energy Store, and the fuses. So it's like, I mean, prices have gone up because hyperinflation is starting to kick in, but that's like you know, $30, $40 for the fuse, or not for, no, for the switch, and then... Alt Energy Store, it's like 10 bucks for a fuse and the holder, like 10 to 11. But it's like maybe 100 bucks in that whole thing, which, given that there's about 25 grand worth of equipment in my garage, um, yeah, it's not that expensive uh, in the grand scheme of things when you're playing around with solar on this scale. But yeah, um, keep from burning your shmoo up, so uh, time for chappy chap. <laughs> 